money's hard to earn. Uh, so I respect the people that take their hard-earned money and buy campers and come to these races and buy merchandise. Not just mine, but all these guys. Um, you know, it supports everybody, and it's major. I mean, money's not easy to make. It's very easy to spend, and... Uh, to see them supporting our sport and, and us drivers and teams, uh, you know, that means a lot to us. There's always good finishes of races. There always will be good finishes of races. There's always a badass battle for fifth here at times, but no matter if Sheldon's 24th or first, he's always doing something fucking crazy. It's just so great to see her face light up and my husband's face light up. How could you not want to be a part of that? How could you not want to do this as a family and make these memories together? A family that rides together, dies together, right? Well, this is what we do as a family. Perfect. Looks good. Good? There is just something about seeing that orange and blue fly around that track and know that the guy behind the wheel is giving it everything he's got and he'll never take no for an answer. So it's just great to be a part of that. Like you, you just feel like no matter what, he is driving for you. You feel like he's out there for you. And watching him come from the back to the front, I mean, it's just something that is on the edge of your seat excitement. Look, baby, look. Look at him. Look at him up there ripping the cushion. Come on, buddy. Oh my God. You can't ever count him out and you can never bet against him. He is going to come to that racetrack every single race, put yesterday behind him and do whatever it takes to get to the front. Not only because it's great to win, you can tell that he is invested 100%, so we are too. He's up in the cushion and we're side by side nearly for the lead. Here comes Sheldon Hottenshield into the mix. He's ripping the high side. White flag will wave. Oh my God. Go and Sheldon Hottenshield has caught the leaders as they roll yep. the turn. Come on, baby! Third to first in one set of turns. Down the back straightaway for the final time. Everybody at Houston what? Speedway on their feet. Checkered flag will oh wave. just something about wearing that 17 shirt. They dominate the sea of people. I mean, you can't turn without seeing one. It, that tells you something. There's a reason for that. And it's not just because he wins, because they all win races. There's gotta be more to it. You just look around the stands, look, look at all the Sheldon shirts in, in the stands. Hot Nation, right here, right there. That's what it's about. Go get him, Sheldon. You know, we always have a joke when people are standing up on the fence and, you know, Johnny's got to tell them to get back. Usually it's all the Hod Nation squad pumped and, and up on the fence or cheering. And He's got balls of fucking steel. Fans want people that get after it. So I think you got fan bases of your top five guys, you know. But at the end of the day, like... Sheldon just fucking gets after it, and I think people love witnessing him do miraculous things at times. The Hod Nation squad in Ohio, and especially Eldora, uh, everybody shows up and are repping my stuff and supporting me. Uh, you know, it feels like you can't lose when you have that many people supporting you. There you go. Have a good one. Yep, you too. The Hod is your name here at Eldora Speedway. I don't know there's ever been a name that's been associated with more cheers and applause and, and fan reaction 
and Sheldon has carried on that tradition. The King's Royal to me is arguably one of the biggest races of the year. We put the big money on the line and the guys come. I mean, we got more than 50 sprint cars here are all chasing that big prize and the legends of our sport have won this race. To how they greet Sheldon, he's electric to watch drive a sprint car. He's charged forward through the week a couple of times. He ran second in a year ago. To watch him wheel the high side of Eldora Speedway is very, very cool. Eldora is the biggest race of the year for me. One that I want to win bad and just a big week of racing and the best track in the country. Sheldon has transitioned to where like before he was wild and shit would get fucking messed up. But now it's almost like he's getting smarter. He's starting to finish these races and he's still doing crazy things at time, but he's learning when to do the crazy things and when not to do the crazy thing. Like I said, you know, I don't really give a shit if I crashed it. I go there to win that race and you know, six don't really matter to me. So. To win these races, that's hard to do, to, to start in the back every time and try and get up through there. I knew I was good right off the bat, and it's kind of game on for me once the track gets slick and up on the fence. Eldora is my favorite track, and just a track that you got to shred at and, and rip the fence uh, wide open is nothing better than that. Sheldon Hockshield behind him from 23rd to 6th in the NOS Energy Drink 17 car. Sheldon Hockshield making things happen. Caution flag wave. Sheldon Hockshield broken front in the car, spins to a stop. And that charge from the 23rd starting spot up to 6th. Now a thing of the past. making good ground and um, yeah, I was just bending it. I was pretty much wide open around the top. And sometimes you're the bug, sometimes you're the windshield. You know, we just ran it as hard as we could and, and we got in the wall in turn one, but I knew I was running out of laps and like I said, we go there to win and you know, it was go time. So when things don't go as planned, you get bummed out, but you know, if we're going forward and we're fast, you know, we'll come back and do it again. <laughs> 